Once again, you guys helped me pick the next video that I was going to film for you guys, and I am starting out with this rose butterfly. It is pretty, it's pink, it's sweet, and if you would like to see how I did it, stay tuned and check it out. I am starting out by doing the rose in the center of my forehead, and you're going to do this the same way you would do another rose, just a little bit smaller, and you have to be a little bit careful about the positioning because, of course, there's eyebrows, and you can't do it too large. So I am using a half-inch flat brush for this instead of like three-quarters, which is what I would use if I was doing just a rose design on someone's cheek or on the arm. Because these colors are so light um, from this amazing pink passion cake, which I am using, I am going to let that first layer dry and I'm going to move on to the darker tones in this cake to do the butterfly. So I'm going to do a pretty basic one stroke butterfly, just some teardrops and curved shapes going down towards the corner of my eye. If you need a more detailed account of how I do my one stroke butterflies, you can see some very detailed tutorials on this channel as to how I break down different strokes to create one stroke butterflies. So go check those out if you need them. But this is pretty simple. I'm going to do the outer strokes and then I'm going to fill in with the heel of the brush because I really like that bright hot pink and I want to make sure that that really pops and contrasts with the light pink rose. So for the bottom, I'm just going to pull down into a little bit of a peak to create a more traditional butterfly shape and pull up and then fill that in as well and you can see I went ahead and did the other side of the butterfly to match. Now I'm going to do the rest of the rows so I create a petal shape kind of in the center, do a couple curves to pull around the rosebud and then some flicks of the brush create the inner petals of the rose. Now these colors are very, very light and milky, so it's a little hard to see on camera. Depending on what kind of coverage you get, you might want to line it, which I do line this rose with some white later to make it pop. So while I have that light pink on my brush, I'm just going to add some detail with it to pull that light pink down and through the design. So I'm mimicking some of my original strokes here, just a little bit off from where I started them. So kind of on the inside and you can see at the top of the butterfly as well. And then just kind of pulling half circles of design also and then I do some lines going out just to get some of that pink, that light pink color onto the dark pink color. So you can see I went ahead and just did a light white outline on the rose and now I'm just kind of emphasizing that light pink detail with a liner brush and some diamond effects white. And the beauty of this part is that it can be really abstract and doesn't have to be perfect. Your line work doesn't have to be perfect here. You're just adding some lines, some dots, some texture. Almost like you're doing cheetah stripes is how I would describe it. I just kind of press down and flick and move the brush around because I kind of want those abstract spots. So now I'm going to fill in any holes that I have. I want a little bit of detail on the outside corner of the eye, so I did some drop teardrops, and I'm going to do some drop teardrops at the top as well. Same on the other side. And they're not perfect, and they don't match perfectly on either side, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it, because that's what happens when you face paint. It's not always symmetrical, especially when you're doing it on yourself. I am referencing my photo to the design that I did on my board so that I make sure that I'm mimicking it and getting the feel of it, but not following it exactly, because from a design board to the face, you're going to have to make some adaptations and some concessions 
because it doesn't always match up perfectly to what you think it's going to look like, but I'm, I'm using it as reference. So if you see me looking over, that's what I'm doing. Now I've double loaded this small petal brush with some white and a nice light blue. And I've done a few flowers at the top by the rose. And then I'm just placing those down throughout the design. I really like using these petal brushes as kind of an additional design aspect throughout the butterfly. It actually makes really cool butterfly spots and you can double load them with all sorts of different colors. So it's really great on the job to add quick detail. So I'm just randomly placing them, not trying to make it too symmetrical. Add a couple at the corner of my eyes as well. My paint's getting a little sticky. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my liner brush and I've loaded it with that same light blue that I used to double dip the flowers. And I have to say that I think this adds a lot to this design. I liked the design okay before this, but once I lined it with blue, it really felt finished and kind of different and cool. So I really, really like the addition of that. And the way I line things is pretty loose. So I don't think this is going to take me too long at an event to add this detail. You can see I kind of pulled a little bit of a tail down at the bottom as well. So I'm going to throw a few more dots in while I have that light blue on my liner brush and throw some lipstick on and we're done. This is a pretty quick, pretty design. So I hope you guys like it. I like the way it turned out. I think it's very delicate and sweet and I am excited to try it on the job. If you try it, as always, tag me, like this video, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be below in the description, but it's also Ariel Paints, so you can find me pretty easily. Thanks for watching, guys.